All right, this is clearly going to be a stealth mission. Asterion's got plenty of invisibility and flight methods. So I'm going to turn off group mode. Have him fly. Okay, making my way up easily enough. Seems like there's a barricade I can break on that top corner there. Okay, Misty stepping apparently turns off my invisibility. Okay, there's another option here. Entering turn-based mode again. Okay, so the results of pulling a lever only trigger during the environmental turn. Good to know. Just exit turn-based mode. While still invisible. And hidden. Cunning dash as far as possible. Okay, lockpick this. Picking this will probably break the invisibility and expose me, but if I'm hiding... You don't have permission brought to be out of hide. You're about to be ejected. Okay, feign an attack. None of them will get to me in time. The Steel Watchers are too far. And they're the only ones with higher initiative. Oh, well, that one was close enough. Ugh. Okay, go invisible again. And get through that door. And there's a bunch of steel watchers down here, too. Great. Okay, need a clear view of what all's going on in here. I hate this camera angle, but it's the best way to get a clean look at everything. Watch the this one seems to be where they do the printing. There appears to be a waste basket I can search over here that might be where a better article about us got thrown away. Doesn't look like those guards are going to come into this room. Make big money by trading with adventurers. This article's shining condemnation... A shining commendation of your deeds and dalliances would do wonders for your reputation if put to print. Examine what appears to be a test print of tomorrow's board sheet. Numerous corrections are marked in red ink. You notice one of these corrections scrawled in the margins. Whoever's tampering with the printer, stop it. You're wasting my time. The content of the board sheet is troubling. You feature heavily in the central article, lambasted as a danger to the city. Mm hmm Absolutist infiltrators threaten Fafity of Gorlash. Seditious... This is even spelt improperly. Clean up these bloody mistakes and then get this on the press immediately, Edvard. Okay. This seems to be entirely a photo room. So let's try the last door on the end. Interesting. 
That's curious. Ah, well, here's the press. You approach the printer, noting its ink splots and intricate cogs. Before you can get closer, however, it begins to speak. Oh. Oi! Gormless! Over here! Thought I recognized you. Dolly 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 was right. You aren't much of a looker. What? Uh... How do you know them? Wait, let me guess another Fae who, need, who needs freeing. I'm not trapped, you fool! This printing machine is just marvelous! With nothing like it in the Feywild. Oh, that's fair. This is my paintbrush. I make sure everything that's in those big, ugly article blocks becomes fine printed artistry. I'm a master pensman, I am. Oh, that's fair. Dolly can't stop talking about you. <laughs> hero this, hero that, hero here, hero there. <laughs> Hello, hero. You know, there's some absolute filth about you in tomorrow's edition. <laughs> Seeing as you were kind enough to free Dolly, how's about I do you a favor? It sounds Why good don't to we me. Change the headline. We can load up something a bit less damaging for your reputation. Sounds excellent to me. Well, first, I've got to release the old nasty top story. Whoop, there. <laughs> now, you've got to find a new article to replace it. Already got it on hand. How delightful. Well, this is quick and simple then. Just throw this in here. And our work here is done. Gandhian research report. Let's look into that. Uh, is geography... Unsalvageable, High Artificer. The curse's ambiguity makes it inscrutable as well as deadly. It is a shared belief amongst our party that this area is designated as imperative to avoid on Gondian maps. For all further expeditions to be summarily halted, discontinued, and not reconsidered thereafter. Hmm. Well, the Shadow Curse is gone now, so they don't have to worry about that. Dearest Edvard, our new gift from the venerable Lord Gortash has already outstripped any production records the manual printer set. They're clever little bastards, those Gondians. Shame their foundry is such an eyesore. No, we're fully on board with the Gondians and their fantastic steel watch. That's the new headline. In fact, the foundry could be argued to even accent Grey Harbor. My, I think I feel a travel feature coming on. All my love, Edward Neal, Editor-in-Chief, just writing to himself in that manner. Insisting upon supporting Gortash and his bullshit. Because he provided this printer. Well, ain't that a bunch of bull. Also just realized I can't teleport out of here. I'll have to get out the old-fashioned way. Now I just need him to feather fall down, and we're good. Reunite the party, and there is no longer any issues with the press. Alright, just remembered something I failed to do back here before. I never found a way into this place through the roof. So it looks like I'm going to have to break my way in. Asterion should be able to lockpick his way in, no problem. Especially since this is a back alley and nobody's looking. Inside we find... It was a clean decapitation. I'll give them that. Yep, that's Bayless. And he has the clown's pelvis with him for some reason. Let's see what we can find in the Elf Song Tavern. Oi, we got rats in cellar. We also got cats, but cats are useless. So how about you kill the rats? Oh, I kind of already took care of that. Oh, yeah, I should probably... I should probably warn him. No, I need them rats taken care of. Here's the deal. 
I'll keep a lookout for murderers. You murder the rats. All right. I guess they respawned. Unless I need to talk to him again. Kill the rats, yes? I heard commotion in the cellar. Good. Perfect. Here, you take this. Uh, thanks, but... Rats. Murderers. Always knew the chef gig wasn't going to be easy. Do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept peeled for murdering types. Hopefully that warning is enough, but... I don't know. What's with these guys out back? It's not much, but handing out leftovers is the least I can do with the absolute almost upon us. You're a good man for that. Nothing but respect. Now, I believe I need to search around here for Devella. The investigator is looking into the cult. Ah. Okay, so she's up here investigating a crime scene. Okay, Devella Fountainhead, exactly who I was looking for. Oh, bollocks! I told those idiots not to let anyone through. Uh, I've got big information for you. Name, rank, and reason for interrupting an active crime scene. For your sake, the last one better be bloody good. Very good. Yeah, Valeria sent me. another bottle of mead, no doubt. Yes, I'm Devella, the unfortunate colleague. I can agree on that. Useful information. Leave me to my work. Duke Stalmain's dead, and I've got to find who killed her. Yep. Show the list. That's it. Proof that I was right. Yep. I've been working on an assignment, see? A research project of sorts. I knew my conclusions were sound. But this... I never expected this. I can't blame you. I'll tell you what I know. A century ago, there was a man. Saravok Anchev. He was a child of the god of murder. Baal. Yep. The villain of the previous game. The Iron Throne. A dark tower hiding a darker secret. It was the front for a deadly arms dealing network. There, Saravok amassed an army and sought to become a god. Under his stewardship, the Baal Temple was revived. And with it, the Baal cult itself. Fortunately, the temple was destroyed. And to cleanse the city of Saravok's memory, the Iron Throne was torn from its foundations. And cast into the Chionthar. Oh. For most, that was the end of it. But cults like that don't disappear overnight. That list you spoke of confirms I'm right. The yep. Baal cult is back. And someone is out there, continuing Saravok's work. Orin is a granddaughter. Now, can I tell her that, or... Let's see. Yeah, Baal has a new cho chosen in Baldur's Gate. Orin. God save us all if you're right. But I believe it. Whoever it is, they're intimately familiar with Saravok's work. The brutality of the killings is on a par with Saravok's own. But there's something more here. Something new. There's a reference to these murders. A certain flair. It's as if they were done in worship. The precision of the cuts. The depth. The execution. The best butchers in Faerun couldn't make a cut like that. Trust me, I've asked them. Good lead I there. To explain all this to my superiors, but they wouldn't have any of it. They told me to drop it. Told me the city doesn't need another conspiracy theorist and to get back to doing my job before they find someone else to do it for me. Well, that's because your leader is controlled by the enemy. You're not bound by such constraints. Oh, help me out here. Help the city out. Gladly will. I bet if you follow the trail of these murders, you will be able to unearth the truth of this resurgence. All right. So how about the victims? Can you give me any leads on them? Or the victims on the list that haven't been killed yet? There are 
patriarchs on the murder target list. I'm oath-bound to secure them first, so I'll be heading to the upper city next. While I'm there, the other potential victims will be at risk. Could you warn them? Yeah, if you can direct me to them, that'll be no problem. We should protect everyone, though. Not from round here, are you? We're in Boulder's Gate. This is just how things work. Sadly. But Thank I'll you. do what I can. That's all I can ask, and more than I hoped. Once I'm done with the Patriarchs, I'll head to Basilisk Gate to have another go at convincing my superiors to put some resources into this matter. Meet me there if you've anything more to report. And good luck. Thank you. All right, that's a big step forward. Here's her notes on Stelmane's murder. Empty bottle, recently drained contents, maybe poison. Motive, suspect ballast ritual. Or tell Valeria that. Her throat's the killing right hand missing. Yeah, the theft of the right hand is a pretty common thread connecting these. Oh, Alfira, it's good to see ya. It's great to see you here. And I you. Never thought I'd live to perform for the greatest audience in the realms. The entirety of Baldur's Gate. Lacarissa lets me practice up here when she's on shift downstairs. She's too good to me. But you. I have a bone to pick with you, oh brave adventurer. Oh, why's that? Big trouble. The most trouble you've ever been in. Uh -huh. I've decided I'm not going to perform in the Elf Song. Mainly because only the Elf Song itself is allowed to perform. I'm going to open up a school of bards. The best in the realms. To usher in a new age of magic and musicianship. And it's because Excellent. of you that I dared to dream big enough. I wish you all the luck in the world. I couldn't be prouder of you for achieving this dream. Thank you. That means a lot. I wanted to tell you first because, well, you inspired me to do it. Here. My very first loot. Tuned to perfection. Thought you'd appreciate it when I'm rich and famous. <laughs> Take care, my friend. Thank you. For helping a stumbling bard in a druid's grove find her spark again. Magnificent. I'll hold on to that. Can't play it, but eh, maybe I'll get to learn somewhere. I should ask for one of the rooms here to see if I can get into there and see if there's any loot to take. Or any quests to find. Pull up a seat. If you can find one spare. I'll tell you what. The murder upstairs has brought some punters, but it's also really spooked folk out of renting rooms. If we get you staying up there, perhaps folk will calm down and realize there's nothing to worry about. You can have the yeah. upstairs floor until this killer thing blows over. Yeah. Top I can do that. Helps the business, gives my party a nice cozy place to stay. Who knows? Maybe our long rest will end up being hosted there. Forging is a thing of the past in the Elfsong Tavern. To purchase camp supplies for resting, simply visit the Dumbwaiter Hatch. Oh, that's nice. So I have pretty much just purchased a place to stay. And it's until all the murdering is over, which means this is my camp for the rest of the game. That's excellent. Well... Got news for you. Your mind tingles as it opens to Will. He learns of Mazora's meddling and Floric's tale of the dragon on Sur. Curse that rotten devil and her forked tongue, trying to set Floric against me. She's a damnable inferno of chaos. What matters now is that Floric saw sense, and we know our path forward. We'll finish what my father couldn't. We'll awaken Ansur, the heart of the gate. 
Really think he's been down there all this time? I do, and so did my father. Go on, read the legend of Ansur. Then we can plan our next steps. All right. There it is, the legend of Ansur. Baldur's Gate, Great Balderon's birth. O Balderon, founder, due veneration. His guardian dragon Ansur, tremendous in worth. A savior below, our eternal elation. To worm way neath prison's deepest level. To be found by not a soul nor devil. Entrance in Worms Rock Prison? Uh, that's interesting. With a lightning shock, a true hero spark flickers, the torches alight. The worm's eyes shall awake a glitter. Okay, so... Something about sparks and torches using lightning. Lightning makes sense if it's supposed to be a bronze dragon, because they use lightning. As trials no common adventurer may exceed, when each day sends forth new ones to their fates, but one great hero by founder's will decree shall one he shall only once grant our age the heart of the gate. Mizora, you bitch. Something on your mind? You know exactly what's on my mind. Yeah, the fuck did you tell her? Why only the truth? That you bear the blame for the Duke's untimely demise. Such a loyal servant of the city, so eager to hear of your exploits. Tell me, darling, <sighs> how is she? Yeah, perfectly fine. What a relief. It would be a shame if she'd struck down the one and only blade. Alas, she misses the fallen Duke. Someone will need to step up in his absence. A man with the spirit of a dragon. His only son. Perhaps. Why stick around and give him power if he's no longer your warlock or... won't be for long? The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. Uh-huh. Yeah, you need to start treating him with some respect. I beg your forgiveness for such undue impertinence. From now on, I promise him the same measure of respect he's shown his father. Oh, I almost forgot. Will sold his father's life for his freedom. <laughs> My mistake. You bitch. Ah, this guy makes tombstones. Remembering the deceased with sympathy and skill. All right, try to pick his way into here. Low difficulty class. Stop wasting Let's get in quickly. If you seek the tribunal, let death be your guide for what is behind death but murder. Yeah. The guy running this place is definitely a ballast. And a letter reading, Keeping Up Appearances. Uh, Clerk Davridge, or Kirk, Clerk Dravage. Ugh. Remember, you were in the business of making Candle Hollow's tombstones look like a genuine retail establishment. Keep all the prices about half, again, too high, so you don't sell very much inventory. Think of the shop as a stage set rather than an actual going concern. Right. Because this place is just a front for Bayalists. Okay, there we go. And that opens the way to a... Well, hello. Ah, lockpicking is impossible. Gotta find a key somewhere. No sign of the key anywhere. I'm gonna have to find whoever owns this place elsewhere in the city and get it off of them. Uh, you're talking to Merkel? Keep a lookout. The 
Mortark don't take kindly to raising the dead. But I won't be long, I promise. And why are you raising people? My big brother, Garrett. He got killed by that murderer guy. But I'm gonna fix him. Now, keep watch. Uh... I get the feeling your brother's corpse is gonna attack you when it rises. with power before fizzing out the child has power but lacks control mm. you're close Merkel. i can feel your shadow give my brother back please uh, but your brother deserves to rest let him The Mortark said the same thing. But I miss him. A lot. The dead should Fine. remain dead. I won't try again. For now, at least. I'm sorry for your loss, but it's for the best that you let them rest. Ah! Damon, how you been? I, should speak up. I was wondering when I'd find you in the city. Thank the gods. I should have known you'd make it to the city all right. But you never know. Yeah, we got here just fine. Seems you're doing pretty well for yourself. You got a great workshop here. I'm shocked by my good fortune, quite honestly. Rent is fair, and the setup is just what I need to start making a living again. Without you, I'd be dead in a ditch twice over. Instead, I have my own smithy in the city. At least, until the Absolute's army moves us down. Oh, don't but worry, I've got that covered. Anything could happen in the meantime. Optimism, right? Oh. Of Let's see what you've got. Wouldn't be alive to hold them if it weren't for you. Armor of Persistence. Very rare heavy armor. All incoming damage is reduced by two. You're gaining resistance and... Blade Ward. Tempting, but... Uh, insanely expensive. Boots of Persistence. Legendary Mobility. You gain freedom of movement and long strider. And dex throw is plus two. That's good shit. Scott could definitely use it. Legacy of Masters. Gain a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls with this with weapons. Yeah, that's that's insanely good. Uh, I'm gonna have to get that. Now that'll be it for now. But later down the line, I'll definitely be coming by to get those boots and maybe that armor. All right, we've got a murder target over here. Cora Highberry. Hello there. We were just about to try some of Master Metzley's delightful wines. Oh, would you care to join us? Uh, could easily be poisoned. Look ever so tasty. Ah, Mrs. Highbury. I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. Oh, this guy's poisoned them. Metzley, and I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. Uh, is almost sickly sweet with an acrid note just on the periphery. Poison. Yep. Yeah. This man's trying to kill you. It was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You have solid it with knowledge, made it an unclean sacrifice. I will remember your face. And I will peel it from your skull, should you interfere again. Oh, that's a lot of them. Okay, Asterion. 
get a cunning dash in so you can make that distance. Oh. Well, if that's the case. You're going down instantly. There's one spell I can always rely on in a mess like this. Just walk in there. And that one's already dead. Action Surge. And that one's dead. Just one asshole left. And no need to... waste spell slots. Well... I am so glad you asked we'll just have to find the other murder targets and make sure to save them all as well and kill the bastard next time. And Tombstone Shop Key. All right, let's show on this letter. Interim report. The Scarred Dwarf is a promising candidate for Unholy Assassin. Though he is personally crude, his methods of homicide are artistic and even innovative. He has set up a deadly wine festival to eliminate his next target, and I, for one, will be observing it closely. I still can't believe... Why would anyone want to kill me? Thank you for saving us. You're very welcome. Oh. Thank you. Didn't need a reward, but I guess I'll take it. 